Welcome back to Charlotte, North Carolina, Bank of America Stadium. A shared tragedy in this preseason for Atlanta and Charlotte. Charlotte FC defender Anton Walks passed away on January 19th in a boating accident in Miami during Charlotte's preseason. He played his first three seasons in Major League Soccer with Atlanta United, was taken in the expansion draft before last year. By Charlotte FC will try to continue that party with their play on the field as they look for their first points of the season. Meanwhile, Atlanta trying to continue its unbeaten start to 2023. It's outside the post in case Swiderski wants to hit this with his left foot. It is Bill Tui Loma and it's right at Brad Kazan. Robinson starting today for his Achilles 21 days after Brad Kazan did. Here comes Atlanta. This is Tiago Almada. Now a lot of room for Caleb Wiley. This is Caleb Wiley who opens the scoring. Five minutes in. The 18-year-old putting Atlanta ahead on the road. Well, so far in 2023, you want to notice the biggest difference of Atlanta United in its act. City in the sense where turn them over and now expose them. Fantastic understanding of where the space is from Tiago Almada. Understanding that everybody is on this side of the field, just clip it to the other side. And how's this for the second year homegrown? And Caleb Wiley take a touch forward, bury it. A huge goal on the road here in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's Atlanta United one, Charlotte FC nil. Second career goal. He scored 14 minutes into his debut. They didn't perform their best versus San Jose. They were happy with the result. As here's Araujo cutting inside and making it two. A fantastic start for Atlanta United in Charlotte. 2-0. 12 minutes in. And then you're switching the point of attack, and now you get Araujo in a 1v1 opportunity. The biggest X factor for Atlanta United this year is what do they get out of a guy they gave $12 million to to bring him over from France. Araujo will create opportunities. What does he do with them in the end? What a second goal and a great start for Atlanta United. Capetti, Huzviak, Westwood. Kazan didn't get there. The goal open all over the ball known for this team to allow to play off of them, maybe in diagonals, maybe in areas where he can whip a ball in from a dangerous spot. This is so difficult for a goalkeeper to come off his line. If Brad Guzan comes off his, off his line, he's got to win that ball. He doesn't. And unfortunate that ingenuity from Melanda doesn't end up in a Schlar Charlotte FC goal. What a ball in from Westwood. Guzan and... Juanjo Purata. Charlotte turned the ball over. Great spot there. I just, I watched Swiderski play. It feels like a square peg in a round hole right now. And I feel like he's more of a second forward off of Capetti than playing and stuck on this right side for Charlotte. He right, does well that nutmeg Andrew Gutman there and then drop. Is where to play Carol Swiderski was essentially that their striker, their number nine. Melanda. Nathan Byrne. Westwood flicking it on. Not clear yet. Yuzviak swing and a miss. Shinyashiki on it. And Gazan will catch in the end. Penalty given. Ismail Elfab was. Well, this ball's in the air, and Lennon's just going to try to come through, and he backs up. And Yuzviak completely whiffs on this. And the. And now a video review. Drew Fisher, the video assistant referee, is sending Ismail Elfab to the monitor. What do you think, Taylor? I mean, my initial reaction is it was a soft penalty. The question is, though, to go to VAR, what you have to ask yourself, is this clear and obvious thing, the tools that he has to double check it? The decision is no penalty. Ismail Elfab agrees with his video assistant referee, Drew Fisher. Swiderski and Westwood over it. 
It's got to be Swiderski, doesn't it? Yeah, that left foot, it's set up for him. It is Swiderski, and Guzan will help it over the bar. He does get a touch, it's a corner. Well, and it's at the right distance for a left-footed player to get it up over the wall, but it's also at the right distance for a goalkeeper to be very sure of himself, come over. Still work to do. Still time for Charlotte to try to get something back before halftime. Might be open now for Atlanta United. Almada skips around Bronico. Araujo. Back to Almada. Leaves it for Wiley! Caleb Wiley! A brace in the first half! Atlanta United flying to a 3-0 lead before halftime. To the playoffs. Look at this possession. Charlotte FC, their defensive structure, yet you lose sight of who? The best player on the field. Tiago Amada in that hold. Now he's running at the defense, drawing defenders with him, and then plays Araujo in the right spot, who then makes the right decision in a calm, composed finish from the second-year homegrown and Caleb Wiley as the Atlanta United have put on a show here in Charlotte in the first 45. The second half kick. No changes for either team to begin this second half, which is now underway at Bank of America Stadium. Three. That matters. I mean, he's older than you. <laughs> hey, no need to go there. <laughs> Almada! Oh, how confident does he look? Oh. I mean, I guess that's what winning a World Cup does when you're 21 <laughs> years old, doesn't it? I mean, the two goals he scored against San Jose are two of the best goals you're going to see all year long, and to do it in extra time, what was he, the fourth player in MLS? Charlotte needs to get it clear. Melanda trying to turn in a tough spot. It's given away. This is Elmada. Melanda coming back oh. to poke it away, and then Yakumaki's unable to get a... He can sign a new deal in July. Jake, that throws the entire season up in arms for Atlanta United. That will be something to solve as Capetti unable to threaten Gazan. Four card flag away. As he looks to salt away the final seconds of this match for Atlanta. The final whistle from Ismail Elfat. A comprehensive performance from Atlanta.